Welcome back to Brisbane TV, another episode. This time we're focusing on the booby trap roller coaster. So Stu Cos, long time player. Hey another guys. display you've come up with, mate. Thank you. Thank talk you. Us, talk us through the inspiration of your build. Oh, I'm just a big Goonies fan, so uh, I love building roller coasters. Um, yeah, so Goonies play with top five favourite movies of all time. So why not theme a roller coaster around the booby trap? Now we always talk about lights, action, camera. What have you got going on in this display? Uh, mate, I've got a bit of everything. So I've got some lights, got plenty of movement. Uh, so I've got my waterfall. Uh, so should, some mist should come out of my waterfall shortly. A bit of robotics happening here. Uh, making the track appear and disappear. Uh, got some spikes at the background. Uh, just plenty of references. So we've got some lights on the pirate ship. Uh, my police at the back, they've rounded up the Fratellis. With some right, lights, we'll get some lights the back and a skull. Have a look. Yep, so this so is what? more or less the entry to the theme park, if you like. That's the start of the ride. Everybody's queuing up. Uh, poor old mate in the, uh, in the bathroom. A little bit of speed off the track there, unfortunately. I'll have to uh, adjust the sensor. It only works 70% of the time. It's one of those beautiful failures that we have uh, all the time. So, so what was the planning and the, I guess, the testing period of it to, uh, to get this all working and the time period? Uh, we've been building it for about a month um, and testing the roller coaster for pretty much that time. So I started off just with the track plan and track layout and uh, then built all the scenery uh, around and theming around the track layout. So a little bit of trade secrets. Um, I see you've got some uh, misty smoke coming out of the uh, waterfall. What's the deal with that? Yeah, so it's actually a uh, humidifier I bought off uh, Amazon, uh, about 30 bucks. And uh, it just gives that element of, um, uh, or an extra element to the to the display, uh, with that mist coming out of the waterfall. So and it's actually water. And continue my uh, my pun streak. It looks like you've goonied off the track. Uh, it, it it is a booby trap. Yes. Oh, okay. A have I only just realised that after looking at this for a day and a half? <laughs> Excellent. Uh, a little bit too much. Unfortunately, this is a de uh, design flaw of mine. Uh, is that it didn't crash at home. Yes. Uh, it only crashed when I bought it. Started bringing it into here. It's always um, the way. And I should have probably made it an extra section of track longer. Yep. Um, to wear some of that speed off the mountain. Ah, okay. So that yeah, so, that would be it gets a fair bit of drop yeah. off that. So. So it's just lifting off the track, unfortunately, uh, a bit too much for my liking. But you can test it for 30 days at home and not have any issues. Exactly right. Um, bring it in, bring it in here and. Because all it takes is a table to be slightly unlevel or a different thing, and it all right. All, so we'll reset it, student. Now, how does the robotics talk to the track? So I saw you were uh, resetting yeah. it up there. So Do I've got again. a little uh, Mindstorms um, sensor up here. So it's running the Mindstorms EV2 sensor. And then um, that flips that track. So yeah, it controls two servos. At the moment servos. it looks as though it's blocked. That's correct. Comes around again, does the loop, come back up the backside, and hopefully this time it takes Fingers crossed speed it, off. it activates the sensor, uh, which is up in the mountain, and then that controls two servos. Um, to hopefully switch the track in time. So what was the most challenging part about actually getting it here? Uh, fitting it in the car. <laughs> yeah. um, I thought I'd yes, built it... Yes, we have success. I thought I'd <laughs> built it properly um, to fit in the back of my ute. Uh, it turned out I actually made it about four or five inches too long. Yep. Uh, so a late scramble Thursday night uh, to get my dad's station wagon for Friday. Yes. Um, means I could uh, get it in here successfully. Leash, uh, so is it pretty modular or? No, okay. not at all. Uh, I built a baseboard for it. Ah, yes. Uh, so it came in in one piece. Wow. Another that successful ambitious. trip. That's very, I, I think a few people, including myself, have been caught by that trap this week. So yeah. Yeah. That's so good. Uh, but yeah, there's plenty of references for the, from the movie if you're a fan of the Goonies. Yeah. Um, I try to put as many in it as possible. And some are really small. I don't hear um, any Cindy Lauper in the background. I'm sure she was part of the soundtrack. No, Bilzy wouldn't play any for me, so. <laughs> uh, and I guess the, the one question is, have you already started planning for next year? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so as of Sunday afternoon, this will no longer exist. Uh, and I've already started planning uh, in my head for next year. But it will next always year. exist on Brisbricks TV. Yes. And you can re-watch this episode and catch many others coming up soon. Thanks for playing. Thanks. Outstanding, outstanding. Yeah. <laughs> Very good.